Pardon me if you don't understand my contrasted emotions. But know that it is you, it is the system that made me this way. He was a good man. You told us, you told us to stay out of the streets. But where do you stand? first week uh it's a bit of adjustment but i'm learning a lot i'm sure you know i told you o'brien's a bit of a throwback but he's a good detective just take in the good and the rest brush off the best you can you know i'm actually hoping that he'll learn a little bit from you too he's only got a few years left on the force before retirement but hopefully he'll have a lot of years of life left after that there's really no reason for him to live him like a dinosaur i'll try my best sir i know you will well, i've got something for you you Detective Shield. Sorry for the delay. My secretary had the requisition papers in her desk. Thank you, sir. Listen, I want you to follow up with Lucy Lee. Jackson Indianapolis took a missing persons report from her last week, but I'd like to get a different take on it from you guys. Will do. Hey, listen. Let O'Brien teach you investigative skills, but trust your instincts. You understand? I think I do. Hey, Cap. You think O'Brien votes for Trump? I don't think he votes. that I'll throw up. That's good. You don't need meat? Well, you and your family invited to my cookout this weekend. My thing. And yours? Yeah, all right. <laughs> I see dreads on the corner there? Yeah, what about him? All right, I'll bet you in the next five minutes he sells. And if he does, you gotta have one of these awesome cheeseburgers. And if not, I'll have one of your, what is that, green tea? Wheatgrass. Yeah, 
One of those. Sells what? What do you mean sells what? Seriously? Ganja, push. We. What the fuck it's called now? Okay, so we see a black guy sitting on the corner and with dreads. Your first thought is, oh, he's selling drugs. There's a guy on the corner with dreads, yeah. Okay. That's low key racist. You can't be racist against a hairstyle. Huh. So if it was a white guy with dreads on the corner, you would think he was what? If it was a white guy with dreads on the corner, I know he'd be buying weed. <laughs> so the white guy's buying, no. the black guy's no. selling, and that's not racist. All right. That's a little bit racist. But look, this corner's shit. Hey, can you chew with your mouth closed, man? It's bad enough I gotta smell that shit. This corner here doesn't belong to anybody. There's a reason for that. Pay attention. There's no houses here. There's no cover. Nobody owns that. That's why. So he's a low-level dealer. He doesn't even know that we're on the job. So all my training, all my knowledge is telling me that he's dealing drugs. And that's not racist. That's just good police work. Observe. Identify. Okay, so we observe a black man with dreads on the corner. We identify his pants sagging a little low. And your first thought is he sells drugs. I mean, I used to have dreads, and I've never done drugs. All right, fine. Forget it. Don't worry about it. No bet. Let's right. just wait, and we'll see what happens. And Captain Donovan said you requested me to be a partner. You asked for Yeah. Me. Why? What was up with that? What about it? What? what? You, you feel the need to make sure I approach the tech work without an open mind? Did I violate everybody's constitutional rights? So maybe not everybody's constitutional rights, but maybe this is black guy on the corner right here that's just standing. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. All right. <laughs> well, kumbaya. That wasn't just a drug deal. This guy just fucking pissed me off. All right, let him go, man. Don't no. worry about it. No. What? No, fuck. I'm not 50 years old and I don't shit all day. I'm going to get him. Come on, man. I told you. He's nothing. He's low level. He's, he's just moving dime bags. You don't know his story. He's got a wife. Uh, he's got kids. He's just trying to provide for himself. Listen, all this shit that's going on in this neighborhood, what the fuck do you care if a little weed changes hands? So if we're in a different neighborhood, we would arrest him? So this black neighborhood doesn't deserve the same police work that a rich white neighborhood does, huh? Fuck that. We're not vice. Thanks for the up, cheeseburger. I was pretty sure you had him. Besides, I told you, he's just a thug. He ain't even more a thug? Th All right, I knew that one. He's not a thug. He's a criminal suspect, even if he's too stupid to uh, go big time or pull up his pants when he's trying to get away. <laughs> right. Hey, man, I'm right here. Sit, Sit back. back. All right, man, so this is what we'll do. We'll go process him, and then we'll go head up and re-interview and uh, follow up with Ms. Lee. I'm not helping you with the nines on All this right. guy. Ms. Lee, the oriental lady? You mean just trying to be an asshole tonight? I'm not giving up on oriental as a word. You're terrible. Simply and plain. What the fuck you and John want? <laughs> He's old school. I like this guy. Look, man, race is a trigger for fucking police brutality, man, so you gotta chill out. Man, oriental is an adjective that describes a noun. So anything a person coming from the Orient is oriental. Well, why can't you just say Asian? Yeah, because Asian is a whole continent. So if someone's Asian, they could be from India. But Miss Lee is, you know. I know her. How you know her? Don't, don't indulge him. No, this is good police work. You never know where a lead could come from. She runs the numbers in the room behind the store. And do you know anything about where her husband might be? Let's say I did. What can y'all do for me? How about we don't whoop your ass? How about that? <laughs> huh? All right, how about this? How about we cut him loose on the narcotics? All right, I'm going to cut you loose. Motherfucker dead. <laughs> Got caught scheming the gambling money. Miss Lee, she don't mess around with her bricks. And how do you know this? Her nephew's somewhat of a talker. He thinks it's keeping it real. I got some West Coast opium, some shit. I get the product, provide yeah. it, sell it to him. But last week, the motherfucker was acting a little strange. How? Oh. <laughs> Told me Miss Lee had him put a husband's body in a trunk 
next to the freezer. You know where the food goes? Oh, oh man. Yeah, I ain't never eaten there again. All right, uh, let's go see this nice Asian lady. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> well, look, it's 10 feet in front of you. Word on rigs, Crockett and Tubbs, Bill Cosby and Robert Culp. I spy. There you go. Reggie Hammond and Jack Cates. 48 hours. There you go, Nick Cannon. <laughs> what can I help you with? We're here to interview about your husband. I already gave my interview. No! Hey! No! Hey! No! No! You got private property! No! You can't do private property! Get down Let go of me! This is not! You can't do that! Get back! Let's open it! No, just get back! Stand back! You can't do that! Anything you say can and will be held against you in court of law. Piece of shit. Get up, get up on your feet. Come on. Switch on oh. <laughs> I'm Kat. Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet great you. things. Thank you. Are you hungry? Yeah. Huh? That's All right, cool. Can I get this up and Yes. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, nephew? What's going on? What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm good, man. All right, good to see you, my man. Good. Everything good? Always, all day. All sure. day long. Look who finally made it. Hey, O'Brien. <laughs> hey, this is uh, my uncle. Here. Yeah, I think we met. Yeah, the consummate chef. The what? The consummate chef. Wait, consummate? What? No, I said consummate, Uncle. Consummate. It means masterful, proficient. You're the best chef. You gonna be worse before I proficiently beat your ass in front of this man? Man, give me some love, man. Come here, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, like. Does your uncle really think you just called him constipated? Shut up. Rook. Hey. Come here, I want you to meet my uh, new partner, Rich. Hey, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You're so tall. We're the same height. Oh, different on him. <laughs> well, uh, your dad said he loves to dance. Oh, a little swag sir. yeah? A little swag sir? Oh, oh yeah, I can, <laughs> I can electric slide. Cat! Yeah, let's do it's it. Sure, on the electric oh, slide. that's my favorite. All right. It's electric! <laughs> It's electric. Ooh, it's shocking. It's electric. 
Thank you.